Welcome back folks, great news, I have finally removed the copyright strike on my channel, so now I can upload videos again longer than 15 minutes, so thank god, but it's been a rough month, <laughs> oh, one step at a time Sam. Alright, so for today I want to talk about the WZ111 and the grind for it, because after one day of grinding, I found out that the damage for the missions are pretty much easy, getting the kills however are not that easy. <laughs> So I have a few tips for you on how you can conquer these missions. So spreadsheet again, alright. So we have a total of 7 nations. So Chinese, Japanese, French, Russian, German, American, and British. So 7 nations. You have to do 150,000 damage per nation. And kill 150 tanks per nation. So total about uh, 1,050,000 damage dealt total and 1050 tanks destroyed by the end of it. So that's a pretty hefty amount of tanks destroyed and damage dealt. Now we do have 35 days, 34 days starting today, but all right, 35 days. So we have to average about 30,000 damage per day and 30 tanks destroyed per day. So that's how you keep up with uh, the event, I guess, but it's still kind of rough. 30,000 damage per day, that's Okay, 30 tanks destroyed is kind of rough because that's kind of hefty. Now that's just 5 games with Top Gun, but yeah, you cannot guarantee Top Gun not all the games, right? So it's easier than getting um, 700,000 XP with 4 weeks, so it seems, but alright. Now here are the tips. Now use various nation sales as a guide when you should start and finish with a nation. So what I mean is, you have 5 days to complete a nation, right? To keep on average, because if you times this by 5, that equals to 1 nation. That also coincides with the sale on various nations. So if you can see right here, each nation has 5 days. So, so it happens, you can coincide the sale with the actual time you need to finish a nation. So you can use this like a ruler to measure out your process on your grind so you can keep up with the average amount of kills and damage dealt per day or per week so it seems so that's pretty nice i didn't know it coincided but that's actually very handy in coming or in counting towards your kills or damage both all right so use the sale to get tier 6 and tier 7 vehicles for the grind because try to save up money for the tier 10s and tier 9s due to the fact that those high tiers are never on sale whatsoever so try to save up a few bucks that's what i'm trying to say tier 8s tier 9s and tier 10s are always on sale so you don't have to worry about those tanks so whatever now wait for the equipment sale that's starting on the december 24th before you start a brand new tank for the grind that's what i recommend you to do so play with the tanks you already have don't buy new tanks and fit them with new equipments because the equipments are not on sale yet. So try to save up a few more bucks or credits whatsoever. Now for the damage grind, I found that the high tier tank destroyers work best. Like the ISC-152, the T-30, the Waffentrager E-100. Like high damaging tank destroyers or high DPM tank destroyers work really well for the damage. Now damage part is easy. For the kills, uh, it's kind of rough. Now I found that well, I found out that low tier or medium tier medium tanks has the kills pretty much easier because you can chase down tier fours light tanks with your Sherman Easy Eight and that's like easy two kills or a kill. So yeah, high tier games you have difficulty with kills because a lot of opponents have more than one thousand five hundred health. So. Play medium tiers for the kills, play high tiers for the damage. So that's the way it seems after playing one day with it. Now, it is inefficient to play light tanks and artillery, obviously, because it, they're both for spotting or just tracking. Now, there are support tanks. Artillery has no accuracy unless you play with a new mod, but still it's a RNG factor, so don't rely on it. And light tanks are mainly scouts, unless you're playing the AMX 1390, but still, that's not guaranteed damage or kills. So, yeah, it's inefficient to play with light tanks and artillery. So whatever. Alright, now remember, 
you can always compensate a nation with a ten dollar token. So you don't have to stress yourself over. You have to keep up with a quota per week or per five days. So you can just take a break whatsoever. Spend ten bucks or twenty bucks. That's fine. Now you don't have to get the WZ one 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 if you don't want to. So you can blow the whole crap over and just don't care about it. Now you can still do the missions for the three days of premium to help with the.、Um, The double XP all day long, so that's pretty nice. But you don't have to do everything, so don't don't get butt hurt like people got with the individual missions for the new tanks. So don't get butt hurt. You do not have to get the tanks. All right, it's it's not life threatening. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. So remember that. Now there is a two X XP all day long from January fourth to the eighth. That that's four days total. So I recommend you save up one or two nations on the verge of completion. So if you have like one nation that has like four kills needed to complete, try to save that up until January fourth because you want to use that premium day for the two x XP all day long. So that's what I'm trying to say. So don't blow everything over all the way. Try to save up a few premium days for that. Now also leave a couple of nations for the two x XP all day long grind. What that means is,、um, if you have a few nations that's pretty rough, or you want to play that nations for the two x XP event, try to save that nation up. So do that、uh, nation later. So what I mean is, I left the Japanese line open, so I don't want to grind the Japanese line for the month of December. Or, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I wait until January to grind the Japanese line, so I can grind for the STB one. That's pretty much what I'm trying to save up for, as well as the batch at 25T. So that's what I'm trying to save. So plan ahead. Ugh, plan ahead is what I'm trying to tell you. Now, also try to find out which nation you lack to compensate for the later. So what I mean is, I don't have French heavy tanks or tank destroyers. So basically, I'm playing with French lights and artillery. And that's going to be pretty rough. So I'm going to save up that nation because I'm kind of weak on the French line. So I will save that up, and for that to play the twenty twenty five T when it's the two X all day long. So try to find out which nation is your weakest, and compensate it later with the two X XP all day long. So that's pretty much all the tips I did for this event. Now it is damage. And kills, so it is different from the previous events where you had to get 700,000 XP for the T34 back in May of this year, as well as the IS6 for last December. So it's not the XP kind of grind, so it seems. Now I did make a previous video on the grind for the T34. I sound like a douche back then. I still sound like a douche, <laughs> but yeah, old video. So I made a few tips about those grind for the premium days. Oh, what the hell! So way back when、I、was playing the Hellcat. Oh, okay. I only have forty gold. Okay, <laughs> old videos. But yeah, I made a few tips, and I could put the link in the description of this video. But this, these tips don't always follow the current grind for the WZ because these are based on XP, and WZ is based on damage. But Also, don't yellow. Yeah, you, you want to play seriously, obviously, for the damage. So, yeah, don't yellow. That's a good、uh, advice, I guess. <laughs> don't follow yellowers. <laughs> That's always another one. Try not to use artillery or light tanks. Yep, same with that. Play with familiar tanks. That's also a good one because you don't want to play with tanks you do not know. Like if you want, if you already just bought the T95, and you think that tank would be a good. Grind for the damage, and you find out that the Doom Turtle is super slow, and you kind of hate it. So, just play with familiar tanks. All right. Now, performance over tier levels. That's also important because if you are familiar with a low tier, and if you're good with tier eights instead of tier tens, so play with tier eights. Obviously, you want to do performance over tier levels.、Uh, carry game tanks gets tons of XP. Well, carry game tanks also gets tons of damage and kills, so that's also true. Now, also set daily goals. That's also another one. But I told you the daily glow, no, daily glow, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> daily glow, 
daily goals, which is basically 30,000 damage per day and 30 kills per day. So try to reach that amount per 5 days and use the sale guide as a ruler for when you should finish a nation whatsoever. So yeah, pretty much these are the tips on how you can get the WZ111. Now damage is pretty much easy in my opinion. And getting the kills is kind of hard, but all right, it's easier to do than the 700,000 XP for total. So in my opinion, but good luck with your grind. Now remember, you don't have to do it and you can spend tokens to compensate. So don't stress yourself, but good luck and uh, wish you guys the best. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll put more interesting stuff tomorrow. I always <laughs> tell that, but I found out a little bit more about the chieftain and the replacement for the FE215B. So I'll put up a video about that tomorrow. And yeah, the Chieftain looks more like a medium tank. I always thought the Chieftain was like a super big heavy tank, but apparently it's smaller than the Centurion. So that's pretty nuts, but I have a picture of it. What the hell is it? So here is the Chieftain. I think it's a, what the hell is Mark? I don't even know what Mark it is. Is it a Mark II? I don't even know, but here is the, well, back, 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 <laughs> that's not that one. So here is the Chieftain, and here is the Conqueror, here is the Centurion Mark 7-1, and here is the Chieftain, so you can actually see the Chieftain is smaller than the Centurion, and way smaller than the Conqueror. Is this going to be a heavy tank? It's it's more like a medium, like a super armored medium, but that's that's pretty nuts. So I'll talk more about the Chieftain tomorrow, as well as uh, a few other interesting stuff that's coming forward. But thank you guys for watching this video, and um, thank God I removed the copyright strike on my YouTube account, so that's a plus. But thank you guys for supporting me all this year, and I'll put up more World of Tank stuff tomorrow, and the days after, and so on and so forth. But thank you guys for watching. Rate this video if you can. That always helped me out a lot. Comment below if you have any questions about the grind for the WZ. Uh, imagine, in, oh, in my opinion, easy damage, hard to get kills. That's pretty much it. But hope you guys have good luck on the grind because it's, it's painful. It is painful for a tier 8 premium. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. To die.